Hey guys, we're moving on to the next step in this Mastercraft as a part of the project we're doing here. And we are going to be uh, taking photos for our gator step that we'll be putting in. So we have these little plastic rectangles that we'll be laying throughout the whole hull of the boat. Uh, we'll also be removing the captain's chair and all this carpeting along with the snaps. And then we will be taking photos of the whole flooring of the boat and sending those off to Gator Step and then their computers will be able to read all the rectangles that we have laid on the ground and they'll be able to put together our template and send us out the Gator Step and we'll install it after that. So we're going to go ahead and get started here with taking up this carpet, removing all the snaps, removing the captain's chair and making sure everything is clean. And so that way when we take our photos we don't run into any issues with the uh, rectangles bumping into anything. All right, so now that we have the captain's chair out of the way and we have access to all the snaps, we are gonna go ahead and start removing all the snaps before we get to cleaning. And then after that, we'll take some photos. We now have all the snaps removed in this Mastercraft. We are gonna go ahead and vacuum the flooring and then give it a good wipe down. And we'll start laying our rectangles to take our pictures. All right, so we've got the floor of our boat completely clean. We are going to now start laying our target rectangles and taking photos uh, for our gator step. We will have some angles that are aired over here and for those we'll just be using some painters tape on the back side of the targets and laying them up against there but everything else should be pretty straightforward as far as laying them we're just going to fill the floor uh, try to get six targets within a square foot of each other so that way we can have at least six targets in each uh, frame of the photos and while you're doing this you want to make sure that you don't bump any of the targets while when you start taking your photos and if you do accidentally move one you do have to pick it up and take it out of the rest of the project but we should have plenty of space on our seats here to walk around and take some photos and the only areas i could see that would be a little bit more difficult is going to be the rails up here um, but we have thin targets so we shouldn't run into any issues <laughs> So as you can see, we have all of our rectangle targets laid out now. Um, I'm simply just going to walk through the boat with my Sony camera and take photos of each of these sections and get a lot of as many photos as I can. The more photos, the better. And then I'll organize all of those and send them over to Gator Step. So we now have all of our gator step in and we're going to install it today. We're going to start with the front bow of the boat, move our way back. These front pieces we're going to start with, make sure that spacing is correct, and then we'll go ahead and do the floor. So 
I'm going to start off by making sure to rub down any surface I'm about to work on with uh, some paper towels and rubbing alcohol. Make sure everything's nice and clean so that we can adhere to it. I've got these rollers that I'm going to use and then I've got a big roller for when we do the floor to make sure we get all the air bubbles out so that way we don't get anything popping up in the future. We're not going to peel the whole strip off at once. We're just going to start off by peeling a little bit back and sticking it down and then we'll slowly peel it back as we place it. finished installing the gator step in this boat. Um, as you can see, we have it all laid down and stuck to the ground. We've got our pieces that were put down here, our pieces that run along the gunnel on both sides, as well as our pieces that run along the bow gunnel. Um, it turned out great. Everything looks super clean. It's going to be a huge improvement for walking around in this boat, not having to deal with the carpet anymore. So make sure to leave any comments down below if you have questions about Gator Step or getting Gator Step installed in your boat. We're more than happy to help you figure out what you need to get done for that.